It's so hard. I feel like my family's hardcore judging me. I know they can hear me. Hi guys, uh, my name is Megan, and well, you guys probably already know that because most of you guys are probably watching because I told you to slide up on my snap. Uh, thanks for doing that if you did. Subscribe, like. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I just decided to uh, get to know me video. Um, I would have tweeted or, you know, asked on my snap for you guys to ask me questions, but I feel like uh, that would been weird and people would have hardcore judging me. So, um, okay. So, let's, let's uh, get going. So basically, my name is Megan, Megan McInnes. I am 16 years old and I'm going to be a junior this year, starting way too soon. I'm like, not even a month. <laughs> um, I decided to do this today because I was feeling really inspired, so uh, why not, you know, give it a try. I forgot everything I was going to say. Um, a little bit about me, it's, uh, I'm a competitive dancer for, um, since I was three, so about 13 years. And I have been dancing since I was two, so that'd be 14 years. Um, my first two years of high school, I was on my dance team. Uh, but unfortunately this year I couldn't do that because, well, you know, life happens, things happen. I can't have too much on my plate. Um, some stuff I'm really interested in is, like, cosmetology. I'm really into doing hair and makeup. Um, not really that good at makeup, but, um, I'm really good at hair. Well, I think I am. I don't know. Uh, this coming September, I'm actually starting cosmetology classes. So I should have my license before I graduate high school, hopefully. Um, I like to sing. That's something I really like doing in my free time. I think I'm pretty good at it. Well, I try really hard at it. I don't know if I'm good. Um, maybe one day I'll post video, but I don't know. Um, I have the worst posture ever. I'm really, really, really super interested in like crafting and like really artsy things. I tried to make my room like really Tumblr. It didn't really work. Yeah, so you definitely can see that. Sorry, it's a complete disaster. I don't really clean my closets that much, as much as I should. I redid my room like four or five years ago, and like immediately after I put the doors up, that door decided to um, fall off. Okay, that was cool. And well, we just haven't really had time to put it back up. So it's currently like sitting back here. You probably can't see it behind my TV. Um, so there's that. I'm extremely passionate about helping other people and helping my community and just trying to be the best version of me I can be at all times. I really like kids and what they have to offer and helping form them into people that they can be. In my future, I really see myself being either a elementary school teacher or a special education teacher or both really. Um, I also have always wanted to own my own business. I have a lot of plans for my future. I don't really have a lot of friends, but I do consider the like one that I have a really good friend, and that's really good to have, at least have one good friend instead of having a bunch. I consider myself to be extremely different than other people because I'm not into most of the things that most high schoolers are into. Like the bad stuff. I really enjoy coffee. Like, I love coffee. I used to get Dunkin' a lot because I'm broke, <laughs> but now, fortunately, I have a job at Starbucks, so I'm just off the walls all the time because I'm just hyped up on caffeine because how can you stop? If I'm working, of course I'm gonna get a coffee. I really, really, really enjoy sleeping. Like, a million out of 10, if I could do one thing for the rest of my life and be still rich and could afford everything, would be sleep, just sleep. Like, all the time. I mean, I already do do that. Minus when I'm working. But, like, sleep. Like, I got, like, 12 hours of sleep last night. Just a lot. Because the rest of the week, I only got, like, 6. So, I guess, like, I don't really sleep as much as I should. But I love sleeping. I really, 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 really enjoy The Vampire Diaries. 100% favorite TV show. Will always be my favorite TV show. I don't think anything will ever top The Vampire Diaries. I don't know 
why I'm so obsessed with it, how I became so obsessed with it, but I just am obsessed with it. Like I've watched the whole entire eight series three times through and can probably quote it at any given point. It's really sad. I really should get a wife. Oh well. I guess like I'm really quirky. Like if you really get to know me, I'm like the funniest person you ever meet. Well, I think I'm the funniest person you ever meet. I mean, I crack myself up and that's all that matters in the long run. Am I right? I'm right. I don't know what I was gonna say. I have a lot of makeup. And I don't wear any of it, like ever. Like you can see me right now, and you got this fat pimple right here. It's like a scab now because I'm picking it. But like, I don't even care it's there. I just hate wearing makeup. I literally hate the way it feels on my face. If you ever catch me wearing makeup, it's just mascara. And that's a promise. And that's like once every like four months. The only time I really wear makeup is that like, whoa, that was so weird. <laughs> the only time I ever wear makeup is like at school dances. When I'm going out and have to look fancy, because duh, I'm gonna wear makeup boy. And dance competitions and dance shows. That's the only time I wear makeup. I just don't like it. It just makes me feel so weird. Like, ew, like, what am I trying to do? Like, I look ugly anyways. Why, why do I have to try to cover it up? Like, I know I'm ugly and I embrace it. My favorite place in the whole entire world right now is New Orleans. I've been there three times. That is where I want to live in my future. I'm really obsessed with New Orleans. Um, I just toured two different colleges there, LSU and Tulane. Um, want to be a future tiger. Um, I've been to Mardi Gras out there and that was like the coolest experience ever. Like if you do one thing in your life, go to Mardi Gras. You will not regret it. But go like when you're like over 21 so you can do the fun stuff, you know. I was able to do that, you know, a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm super obsessed with New Orleans. So I'm like so obsessed with New Orleans and I have like a million different postcards. Like so many. There's so many of them. It's just such a beautiful place. Like, why wouldn't you want to go? What the heck? It's a beautiful place. I don't know what it is about it, but I just really like the vibe of depressing music. And like, I guess like I'm definitely depressed myself. So I guess I can like relate more to depressing music. And for some reason, like people are always like, why do you listen to depressing music? Like, it doesn't just make you sad, blah, blah. Like, no, depressing music like makes me happy. Like. It makes you feel like, like I'm not alone, like there's other people that go through this and like they've made the most out of it, like they're famous now, like they're making big bucks, like from singing about like what they're going through and stuff like that. Um, my favorite artist like of all time is uh, James Arthur, um, I'm obsessed with all of his music, like I know all of it, every single word, every single album, like I know it all, I guess like, um, if you don't know who James Arthur is, like he sings Say You Won't Let Go, which is like a really popular song. Um, he sings about like what he's been through and like all the shit that's happened to him like in his life. And it's just like, it's super like inspirational to me, I guess, because like I go through stuff and I like have bad depression, but it's not like what he goes through because like he's been through like a lot of stuff and like everything that he's been through has like made him stronger, which makes me feel like, like I will get through it. Like, you know, like no matter how bad it gets, there's gonna be an upside to it. Jim Zaffer is definitely like my idol. Love you. Um, so for some reason my camera just like turned off. I don't know what it was. So my outro for this video got like so messed up and I don't know about like what I did, but thank you this ugly low quality MacBook camera. So uh so I'd say thank you for watching this video. If you made it through the whole thing, I'm going to wear some gold myself. I know. Um, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. Thank you. And I'll see you soon.